Thank you for coming back, guys. Ron here. Um, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm about six years old inside. I know I don't look it, but I'm going today to pick up a surface grinder. It's in San Jose. I'm in Sacramento. So I'm waiting for my friend to get over here. He's supposed to be here shortly before 8. Oh, wow. I'm going to be standing here for a while. It's 714. Anyway, so much for that. I have the trailer. We're going to put it on a low boy. I got a U-Haul trailer. And I just thought it was going to be too dangerous because the only thing I have to unload it is a shop crane. It's not just a cherry picker from O'Reilly or something. It's a big shop crane. Um, but picking it up out of the back end of a 4x4 pickup is just going to be a little bit too high. And I think that weighs too much to have suspended that far up in the air, even though I was just going to pick it up and drive the truck out from underneath it. But the little boy trailer, pick it up, it'll be less than a foot and a half off the ground. I think that's a good idea as far as safety. I'm getting old, I can't jump as fast as I can. I could when I was younger. So, anyway, any well, anyway, I can't talk. I'm so excited. I'm just kind of quivering inside here. I just can't believe I found this for the price I found it. I really can't. So we'll see when we get there. It's pretty grungy, pretty dirty by the pictures. Uh, so much for that. Let's get the camera back on when Joe gets here and we'll get us taken off. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Oh, good morning, Joe. You looking for your sunglasses? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going to get I'm going to get this on uh Oh, e you're going to our... Okay. Well, hi everybody. Hey, this is my friend Joe Narduzzi. He's been the muscles behind the big moves here. Uh-oh. So, we're going to go ahead and get his truck hooked up. This looks like the trailer. You know, I did not bring tie downs. Did you? Did I you got plenty one? of tie downs. Yes, sir. Okay, give me some directions. So, we're going to put it in this right here. And the guy says it'll handle the weight, so it's an 1800 pound trailer. Anything else we can put in the truck. If I just by chance get anything else, I'm hoping he has a few extra arbors, maybe one extra arbor. But. Record this whole message. No, I'm not gonna record the whole thing. Well, guys, we're finally on our way. Oh, you can't even see it, but we got the trailer right out back. <laughs> oh, you gotta put your I gotta put on. my seatbelt on. I just got so doggone excited, I can't help it. Well, should be up here on the right hand side. I think right where that truck's pulling out right there. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Yep, here it is. Look at back. Let's go see the guy. So Joe's gonna go ahead and back the truck in right now. You guys ought to see inside this shop. This is awesome. I'll give you a little tour in a minute. Hi. Wow, what a facility. Oh. I couldn't pass that up. What's up? Oh, I'm taking a picture of the bridge board. Oh, really good. Thank you. I feel like a little kid inside. I'm here to look at the surface grinder. My name's Lauren. Oh, good, Charlie. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. Yes, I was just in the process of disconnecting it. Oh, my. Look at that. Oh, look what it's sitting next to. Um, how you want to anchor it down or anything like well, that. Well, I've got, I've got load straps and everything oh, for perfect. it. Like, yeah, okay. I've got some. So this goes with it. Okay. So you get that. And we'll have cool to uh, clear a path so we can get the forklift back here and get it loaded up for you. And I was just going to get home. Yeah, I would like take this off. I'd scrape out any 
Not that it has a huge accumulation of grinding, but I would scrape that all out, freshen that up with some, and then you put some lightweight oil in there. Okay. When I come in to use this sometimes, and it's a little bit stiff. Okay. I usually put something under here and I lift it up. Okay. Lift oh, to it let up the. And, and create, then you get the oil to move in there and it gets. Oh, because it's not a force feed. Right. Okay. And then you get like a, a layer of oil there that it can coast on. Okay. So it'll it'll ease up on you while you're doing it. Okay. So we got to like hit the pork lift. I, I'm going to have to see okay. what we need to do to... No rush. I got a couple questions I want to ask you about the material and I put it here and I just tap it with a, with a mallet. Okay. Take that off. This would come off if you wanted to change it to a different grid or a different compound or whatever. Okay. And then every time that you uh, would replace this wheel, you'll need to get yourself a diamond dressing yes, tool sir. for that. And you get that from McMaster Car. A lot of tool catalogs have okay. it. This has this magnetic chuck so you can anchor your, your diamond here, anchor it on here, and then you'll make a few passes across this wheel and you'll remove it and you'll, you'll see this, see how this wheel's nice and white after you use it for a while it'll load up you know with whatever you're grinding you make a few passes with that diamond tool and it'll be all fresh white again mm -hmm. but when you replace that wheel theoretically it's on center but it's not it, it could be if it's off a thousandths or five thousandths or something it's you're going to get this action yes but by putting the diamond dressing tool on there then you true it all up so wherever it's positioned now it'll be true when it yes, spins yeah. here yeah. wow guys this is awesome look at this oh my goodness just gonna go set it up with Joe so where he can load it up and look at this and this oh my you guys it's a little dark back here I hope you can see all this second operation lathe another big lathe back there oh my talk about a machine shop and this is just one of the outbuildings but this is why we're here oh yeah she's coming home with me baby now i can't figure out how to turn the gun thing off again but that's okay i'm looking at my machine isn't this place awesome <laughs> oh my Look at some of the stuff they make here. It looks like little boxes. It's Yeah, they got a bunch of motorcycle trophies hanging up in the front, too. What's that? Motorcycle trophies. Oh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that something? I have to wonder what it's for. I don't know. Looks like a muffler. Oh, could be an expansion chamber for a small two stroke. A little cart full of them. Yeah. yeah, the old bridge ports that they have out there in the back, plus they have that second operation lathe, and they've got that a monster lathe sitting out there. Yeah. All the tooling for this. Wow. I could just fire that pump up in my garage and listen to it all day long. Oh my goodness. Now, I think we're going to have to get that from the bottom. Okay. So I got a couple four by fours also. We have to reposition that, that trailer so we can bring it in from the behind, I think. Okay. We'll just go ahead and straighten it out a little bit more. Well, he's going to bring the four to the down the side here. Okay. So let's see what the boss says. Okay. Can he back here? Make it easier. Hi. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Okay. Well, kind of, Joe's going to have to back his truck and the trailer back here so we can load it on. Wow, what a facility. We've been here for 45 years.
Well, let me give Joe a hand. I'll get back with you guys. Yep, we're getting there. Come on back, Joe. Yeah, I'm back in here. Nice. Nice and smooth. Wow, that's silky smooth. This might be a good buy. Okay, I'm sorry to be bouncing all over the place, but I was just cranking on that thing. Oh yeah, just like I say, she's grummy, grimy, grubby, all that up. Uh, sitting in a dark place like this for how many years? That's okay, we're not gonna use this anyway. Yeah, the tower don't come off that one, it looks like. It's all cast in one piece. Well, our driver's here with the forklift, so I'll step out of his way and let him do what he needs to do. This is a real machine shop, guys. You're getting it, actually. Oh, yeah, this works are under it. Coming through? It's not all the way through. Oh, look. Tilt it back. Okay, you need to get some more force. No, lower it, lower it, lower it, please. Oh, that's helping. Oh. Want to try to come in with it a little bit more? Good. Pardon me. You want this one? I don't know. Let's put it in the floor and lift it up. I don't want to get pinched over on the other side of him, that's for sure. I think I had my finger over the mic. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's it. You took it back? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Let me, uh... 